Hi guys, this is uh, Charlie here at Sterling Power. In front of me I have Sterling's waterproof IP68 rated battery chemistry module, also known as the BCM, the battery chemistry module. Now this device here is not a standalone battery charger, but it's a retrofit onto a battery charger's output. Now the battery charger that this connects up to has to be at least two outputs or more. So two outputs, three outputs or four outputs, this unit would work absolutely fine with. The other caveat is that the battery charger that this is connected to has to have a live voltage on the output of those outputs. So the, the, the charger has to be essentially a power supply or at least has to have a power supply mode. For example, our ProCharge Ultra, which has a power supply mode, would complement this product absolutely fine. Now, what this product does is the, another part I'm going to be telling you about, and that involves the plethora of different types of battery chemistry that you now find on board boats. For example, you have gels, you have AGMs, you have flooded lead acid, you have sealed lead acid, you might have a calcium. Uh, you may have some new style of battery that hasn't even been uh, listed before. Now, if you have different types of battery chemistries on board, let's say your starter battery is a sealed lead acid or a gel battery, or, and your domestic and your house battery bank is an open lead acid or a calcium style battery, or a lithium style battery which requires a different charging profile to that of your starter, you can install something like a battery chemistry module that will take in the, the, the voltage of your battery charger and kick out the voltage that you require on that house battery. So you may have your battery charger set to a lower gel voltage of 14.1 or a lower sealed lead acid voltage of 14.2, 14.4, but you may wish to charge your open lead acid house battery bank at 14.8 or a calcium battery bank at 15.1. And you can set this battery chemistry module to charge at that higher voltage. So you can install, let's say, two outputs, uh, one to your starter battery, one via this product to your house battery, and when your charger starts up, it shall be charging the starter battery at your 14.1 or your 14.4, and simultaneously it will be charging your domestic or your house battery bank at your 14.8 via this box at your 14.8 or your 15.1 or whatever you set the, the battery chemistry module to. So that is the fundamental use of this product. It's charging, as the name suggests, multiple battery chemistries from one charger via this module. That's the whole point of it. Now, not only does this do a nominal 12 to 12 volt charging profile, it will also do 12 to 24 volt, it will do 24 to 24, and it will do 24 down to 12 as well. So there are many different uh, voltage um, uh, conversions it does. So you can do all of that um, from this unit, but you have to get the correct uh, voltage. So this one here, it specifically does 12 to 12. We, we, we do other ones that do 12 to 24 and 24 to 24, etc. Uh, so you just need to know what uh, voltage s scale your battery charger is and the voltage scale your battery banks are. Uh, another use of this product would be, for example, if you had a 24 volt bow thruster battery bank charging up from a 12 volt uh, battery charger. So your starter battery in your house may be at 12 volts and your bow thruster may be at 24 volts. So you may wish to use one of the outputs to charge your starter battery, not via this product. Your second output to charge your house battery, not via this product. But to get to the bow thruster, you may wish to go to the uh, go through the the 12 volt to 24 volt battery chemistry module that will take in the nominal 12 volts and kick out the the four stage 24 volt charging profile to charge up your 24 volt batteries um, at the bow of the boat to charge the bow thruster batteries. Uh, and on the question of bow thrusters, uh, because often you get a lot of voltage drop across long cables. This product can compensate, it has the ability to compensate for long 
voltage drops, sorry, long cable voltage drops. So when you've got current flowing down a cable, generally, particularly at high current, you get a voltage drop across the cable. This charger here will compensate for that across long cable runs. So you get the correct voltage at your bow thruster 24 volt bank from the 12 volt charger, if you wish. So that's another feature of this product. It will compensate for long cable runs. Thank you. Another feature of the battery chemistry module is it comes with a temperature sensor. 10 meters of cable, which that positive and negative bit connects onto the circuit board of the battery chemistry module. And this yellow bit here will connect to the negative terminal of the 12 or 24 volt battery that this outputs to. And the whole beauty of connecting one of these temperature sensors is that it, the, the, the battery chemistry module will then compensate uh, in different temperatures the voltage that it outputs. So as the temperature warms up, the voltage of the output of the battery chemistry module will drop slightly, and conversely, as the temperature drops on the sensor, the voltage actually increase to compensate for that drop in temperature. Okay. So this is how you would wire up a battery chemistry module. Now here you can see you've got two terminals. One of them would be the input. Now that input would be connected up to your battery charger. And the battery charger is down here. As an example, let me just take this lid off. So one of the positive outputs here would be taken and brought to the input terminal of this battery chemistry module and on the output terminal of the battery chemistry module that would then go to your 12 volt battery bank or your 24 volt battery bank dependent on what model you've connected. So after you've installed the input and the output positive cable I would then wire up the negative so that will then be it fully installed make sure everything's fastened down well. Now I don't know if you can notice but there is a blue and yellow dial here with numbers 1 through to 9 on it. Now those depict the different types of battery chemistry uh, the voltages that you can select. So 1 through to 9, 1 would be something like a gel, a low output voltage, sort of 14.1. And the higher up you go, the higher the voltage generally. So you can select anything from uh, gel AGM, sealed lead acid, open lead acid, lithium's even on there, calcium, and then you've got other presets as well. So simply set that, and then when you first fire up the battery chemistry module, uh, the output of the battery chemistry module shall reflect the voltage that you have set using this dial. Now on the front of the battery chemistry module is all of the different voltages uh, and the, the, the bulk absorption and float voltages of the battery chemistry module uh, with, the, with the respective number next to them. So you can set the profile by using the, the numbers on the front sticker there. Okay.